Two people are behind bars tonight, accused in the murder of a 35 year old mother and beloved teacher. This happened at the Duncan drive through all while her 11 year old son was in the back seat. Police say the man who pulled the trigger is also behind a separate murder. This is the story of Rachel King, the 35 year old Philadelphia teacher, mother and a loving girlfriend who was an inspiration to her students and loved by many. But little did Rachel know that her life would take a dark turn as her life would be brutally taken in front of her son while waiting in a Dunkin' Donuts drive through This murder set the stage for a gripping and tragic tale of love and revenge that would rock Philadelphia to its core and have many asking, who would want to hurt this beloved teacher? Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This chilling tale unfolds in the vibrant city of Philadelphia, the historic heartbeat of the Keystone State. Known for its rich culture and diverse communities, this urban metropolis became the backdrop for a tragic crime that shook its very foundation. In the heart of Philadelphia, at the epicenter of this story, lived the bright and vivacious Rachel King. As a beloved teacher at one of the city's esteemed schools, Grover Cleveland Elementary School, Rachel was more than just an educator, she was a guiding light for her students, inspiring them to reach for the stars and chase their dreams fearlessly. Beyond her role as a teacher, Rachel was a loving mother to her 11-year-old son, who was the center of her universe. Her role as a mom added a layer of warmth and determination to her already radiant personality, making her a pillar of strength for her family and a source of unwavering support for her students. With a heart as big as the city she called home, Rachel's zest for life was unparalleled, making her a beacon of hope in the lives of those who had the privilege to know her. Rachel's was in a relationship with her longtime boyfriend William Hayes, and during the relationship, Rachel's boyfriend would have an affair with a 34-year-old woman by the name of Julie Jean. When Rachel found out about the affair, William broke off the relationship with Julie and continued on with his relationship with his girlfriend Rachel. Julie stalked and harassed William and Rachel as a result of the rejection, frequently showing up at the apartment uninvited. A protection from abuse and harassment order was issued to William in December against Julie. According to the criminal complaint filed in the case, Rachel even admitted to receiving multiple texts from Jean in the month of December 2022. At some point, Julie decided she wanted Rachel dead. Julie contacted the cousin of her baby's father, 33-year-old Zach Kialakim, and met with him. The two worked together for months planning Rachel's murder. They had been stalking Rachel, taking photos of her, and learning her routine. It is believed that Julie and Zach Key followed Rachel from her home the morning of the murder towards the Duncan drive through in which she was fatally shot in front of her son. Zach Key apparently parked a Mercury Sable nearby, then approached Rachel's Ford Edge from the driver's side and shot her many times. Six 9mm fired bullet casings were discovered by police at the location. In the back seat of the vehicle at the time was Rachel's 11-year-old son. Fortunately, he had no injuries. She was driving her son to violin practice when she was shot, according to Rachel's boyfriend William Hayes. Philadelphia police discovered the Mercury Sable in the hours following Rachel's murder. Authorities claim that after officers tried to bring down the Mercury Sable, Zachy's car sped off and smashed a fence on 16th Street before coming to a stop. Zach Key has been arrested. Additionally, on April 7, he was allegedly charged with another murder in Philadelphia. Later ballistic evidence in the Philadelphia homicide linked the 11 9mm shot cartridge casings discovered at the crime scenes to both killings. The evidence was entered into the new National Integrated Ballistic Information Network machine in Montgomery County, according to the officials, and it connected both killings. Authorities say the weapon used in both shootings was not found, but later, it was discovered that Zach Key had a picture of the ghost gun on his mobile. He is also a person of interest in a killing in Philadelphia where his car was spotted. Julie was arrested later. Rachel King, a beloved teacher and mother, shot to death in front of her son in a Duncan drive through Authorities say the shooter was a hitman hired by a romantic rival. This is your News at 5, and we continue to stream live on CBSPhiladelphia.com.
Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. It has been nearly two weeks to the day that Rachel King was killed. Her murder shocked the students she taught and the community where she lived. The Montgomery County DA announced today he is personally prosecuting this case. Nikki Dementri was there as the DA announced two people are now facing charges, and her parents vowed that they will be there every step of this case. It was a cold-blooded killing, a targeted murder of an innocent person. Montgomery County prosecutors say 34-year-old Julie Jean and 33-year-old Zaki Stephen Alakim are behind the shooting death of Rachel King. The 35-year-old mother and teacher was killed at a Cheltenham Duncan on April 11th while sitting in the front seat of her car, her son in the back seat. We got a road to justice ahead of us, and, uh, and uh, he's a part of it, and, and that's going to be difficult. King's parents spoke briefly at a Wednesday press conference in Norristown, thanking prosecutors, detectives, and the community for their persistence and support. Our hearts are hurting, but we also believe this in time they will be healed and we will move forward with our grandson, Jalen. Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele says Jean and Allah Keem didn't know King. At one point, Steele says Jean had an affair with King's boyfriend and began harassing the two after King's boyfriend ended it. Allah Keem, prosecutors say, is related to the father of Jean's children. We want justice done. We want it done swiftly. We want it done accurately and we want it done fairly. Prosecutors say evidence, including this map showing King's home saved to Alakim's phone, is part of the planning by the two since February. Another piece includes the silver mercury sable seen leaving the Duncan. Steele says was purchased by the two and in Jean's name. That car was also seen at another murder scene in Philadelphia four days before King's death. Alakim is facing murder charges in both cases. As a family of believers in Christ Jesus, we believe that vengeance does belong to God. Steele adds the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network machine matched casings recovered at both the Philadelphia and Cheltenham scenes to the same weapon. Although not recovered, Steele says the ghost gun matches this photo found on Ala Keem's phone. I've seen a lot of horrible and even horrific um, homicides, evil homicides in my nearly 30 years of doing this um, as a prosecutor um, and suffice it to say I am uh I'm struggling with this one. Both Jean and Al Akeem are behind bars. Jean is here in Montgomery County where she was arraigned. Al Akeem is being held in Philadelphia. His arraignment is Thursday. According to Steele, both are jailed. Bond was not granted after Julie's trial in Montgomery County. Al Akeem will be sentenced in Rachel's case on Thursday after being detained until April 11th on different accusations. Together with Assistant District Attorney Caroline Goldstein, Steele is personally pursuing the case. Steele declared, We are prepared to work extremely hard to get justice for Rachel King. She may not be well known, but Carol King stated, She was amazing, as her father said, and we completely agree. Thus, her memory will always be preserved. In the days before the murder, Zach Key was also charged with stalking the woman and waiting outside her home. According to authorities, the fatal shot was a targeted killing of a mother all caused by an ended affair. In the words of Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele, this cruel murder of Rachel King was a purposeful murder of an innocent individual, plotted by both of these suspects and brutally carried out in front of King's son. It is unfortunate that a good person was killed only due to an ended relationship. According to cell phone data, Julie contacted Zach Key and entered his cell phone number named Za to her list of contacts in the middle of February. Authorities said Zach Key captured a screenshot of a Google map of the Rachel's building complex and saved it on his phone. Rachel's particular home was marked with a pin, and a red arrow pointed in the correct direction towards Rachel's home. There was supposedly a picture of Rachel shown on a phone being used by a woman now known as Julie on Zachy's phone. According to reports, the picture was shot on the 25th of February, 2023, at 2.17 p.m., fewer than 30 minutes after Zach Key supposedly texted Jean his real-time location so they could meet up. Authorities claim that a screenshot containing a Rachel King photo collage was stored on Zachy's phone a few minutes later. Police state that Zach Key and Julie attempted to remove data from their cell phones after Rachel's murder, with Julie erasing 787 texts only 13 minutes before her April 12th interview with detectives. 
later, law enforcement managed to find the communication. According to investigators, Zach Key bought the Mercury Sable on the 30th of March, 2023, fewer than two weeks prior to the murder, when he went shopping with Julie in Philadelphia at a store on 61st Street. The car was bought under Julie Jean's name. The Rachel King case has surely left everyone speechless. She was a devoted single mother, who had been a teacher for 10 years, was pursuing a master's degree and obtaining her principal's certification. According to her brother Alan King, his sister was a bright light and a good person. Her brother claimed that she would light up the room. She was intelligent in every manner. So let's not forget about the indomitable spirit of Rachel King, whose legacy lives on in the hearts of her students and loved ones. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.